Hey folks, this is Ryan from ORS Snowshoes Direct, here to go through the snowshoes in our Go Anywhere All-Terrain category. There's lots of snowshoes out there, we categorize them to make it easier to choose. You think about the kind of snowshoeing you're looking to do. The Go Anywhere All-Terrain kind of speaks for itself. Uh, these pretty much can go anywhere and cover pretty much all terrain. When I say pretty much, there are some exceptions. You know, there's an expedition all mountain category where you get the most traction, the most support, uh, bigger frames for the deepest possible snow. But, you know, you can really pretty much do anything with these snowshoes minus the most extreme possible. So for folks who are looking to venture off the beaten path, uh, explore the woods a little more, maybe climb a few mountains, then this is an excellent category to be in. Another thing too, for folks who are more recreational minded, you know, there are features within these snowshoes that, that are certainly appealing. Lighter weight frames, easier to use bindings, uh, better traction is always a good thing. So, so, you know, just because you're not planning on going anywhere or doing all terrain, you might like these snowshoes nonetheless. I'm gonna walk through the models that we have here as quickly as I can. I'm not gonna touch on every feature. You can get more information on our product page for the individual snowshoe. But let's just kind of walk you through to kind of help break some of these um, technologies down a little bit so that they're a little more uh, or less overwhelming. Uh, so we'll start out with MSR. MSR is a U.S. company. Um, they're very technical uh, snowshoes. Um, they're really a, an expedition company that now makes snowshoes for the whole, um, you know, sort of spectrum of snowshoeing. But they're uh, very, very well made and uh, well thought out snowshoes. The Evo is, uh, the Evo Tour, this model here, is a molded snowshoe. MSR started making snowshoes that were molded, they're plastic instead of a frame and decking material. What that does is it keeps it nice and light, keeps it affordable, and also gives the frame a lot of uh, twists. So that helps when you're on uneven terrain, helps for uh, the shoe to, to get as much traction as possible. Um, aside from features, uh, the binding is called the speed lock. It's super easy to use. You'll also notice it here on the lightning axis. Um, the speed lock binding, basically you set this strap up once to fit the boot you're going to use most of the time. You lock it in place. You'll notice that it's kind of at an angle. That's so that you bring your foot in and you twist it to center and that tensions your foot and then you just have your heel strap and this optional instep strap if you so choose to give you a little more control or support. Um, it's a rotating toe cord with a stop so the snow will fall off the tail but it won't swing completely out from underneath you and it has a climbing bar. The climbing bar is a really nice feature. You're going to see that on most of the shoes in this line. Uh, that is going to help when you're doing a long uphill to give your heel a place to rest. It'll reduce calf fatigue and give your snowshoe a little more pressure for better traction. So it's a really cool feature. Um, so there it is, the Evo Tour. Uh, very similar binding on here. The one difference between the uh, speed lock axis binding on the lightning axis is that it has the ability to actually, the binding itself can pivot side to side to offset either um, your gait. So if you're a little pronated or supinated, you can actually get your snowshoes parallel when you're walking by adjusting the angle of this binding. You just pull a pin here and it can move. It's a pretty neat feature. Otherwise, very, very uh, same, uh, same features as you found on the Evo Tour. Uh, climbing bar on this guy, but you'll notice a big difference in the frame. Here we've got an aluminum frame with decking material. The frame is also part of the traction component of this shoe. So it's, it's a minimalist design meant to be uh, very, very lightweight, yet give you superior traction. The shoe still has a uh, twist built into it and the same kind of a uh, toe cord where basically it rotates and hits a stop. Very, very lightweight, technical shoe, uh, really, really nice model, the MSR Lightning Axis. Both of these, by the way, are modular. You can clip on these tails. Um, for additional flotation. They, they snap on very, very easily. So uh, this allows you to get a smaller shoe when you're on more packed terrain. We don't need as much of uh, flotation. But then when you get into some really deep snow or you're maybe carrying extra weight, you can slap these tails on and you will improve your traction. It'll basically make a bigger size snowshoe. So that's a really, really unique and cool feature with MSR. Uh, the tails are specific for the, the model. So just make sure you get the right tail for the right model. Moving on, we're gonna go to another US made snowshoe by Crescent Moon. Uh, this is a Crescent Moon Gold. Old nine. Um, lots of traction here. Nice aluminum lightweight shoe. This is called the uh, single pull binding. You basically you slide your foot in. This is a pretty soft material, very, very comfortable. Um, you adjust your heel strap and then you just pull this loop. And this loop tightens the whole binding around your boot. Nice and snug. You can get it just right, just the right amount of tension. Very, very comfortable, very, very supportive binding. Um, the uh, toe cord is, is more of a fixed toe cord, but it does actually have some flex built into it. So it kind of acts like a rotating toe cord with a stop. Um, again, rotating toe cord lets the tail of the shoe drop so snow can shut off the back. Um, really, really nice US made snowshoe from Crescent Moon. 
Then we'll go to Dion. These guys are made here in Vermont. Really psyched to carry Dion snowshoes. Uh, kind of a unique system where you buy a frame and then you can choose between two bindings and several, uh, there's I think three crampons to choose from as well. So you can kind of design a snowshoe perfect for your terrain. Here we've got it set up with um, a simple Velcro type binding and um, it, uh, it's a custom made, handmade snowshoe made right here in Vermont. Lightweight, durable, uh, pretty simple, not a lot of fancy buckles and straps, but just a simple uh, Velcro on this binding and uh, you know, steel crampon, nice US made, Vermont made, snowshoe from Dion right there. Uh, okay, now we're going to get into a little more traditional brands. We got Atlas and Tubbs. Uh, this is the Atlas Electra 11. This is a women's version. Um, by the way, a lot of these snowshoes are available in men's or women's. The big difference between a women's snowshoe is that the tails are tapered a little bit more um, to accommodate a woman's gait, which tends to uh, cause the tails of traditional snowshoes to kind of bang into one another. So this gives you a little more clearance to reduce that. Um, and uh, other than that, the bindings might be a little bit smaller to accommodate a, a smaller range of boots. But otherwise, all the features are the same for men's and women's. Tons of stainless steel traction on the Atlas, aluminum frame, nice lightweight, got a climbing bar um, for that you know, support when you're, when you're ascending a mountain or a big long uphill climb. Um, <laughs> this being a uh, pretty new snowshoe, that does get, loosen up a little bit. Um, the binding here, this is called the Rat Plus. Atlas's bindings are great. Um, very, very comfortable, lots of padding, and um, a simple design. So this little strap here is mainly designed to loosen the tension on the strap. So you just pull back on that like that. That opens up the binding. Your foot goes in. There's nice padding inside of there. And then to tighten, you just pull this loop, kind of similar to the single pull from um, Crescent Moon over there. And then you got a heel adjustment strap as well. Um, the big story with Atlas is their spring-loaded binding. Um, the, the Binding is attached to these spring-loaded bands, and uh, so it's similar to a fixed toe cord with a little bit of hanging uh, action there built into it so that the, the shoe does shed some snow. But the, the more fixed toe cord means that when you take a step, the shoe kind of comes with you. So you can step over logs and obstacles a little bit easier without the tails banging in. Um, but the big difference with this design is the articulation you get. The binding can really flex, move around. So if you're on a side traverse, your foot can find a pretty natural footing because it has so much articulation built into that design. Uh, very, very comfortable and uh, really neat design there with Atlas. Okay, moving into tubs. Oh, actually, before we get into tubs, we've got one right in the middle here by Louis Garneau. This is a new brand for us this year. Um, Lou Garneau, they're a cycling company. They've gotten into snowshoes. They're very, very technical, good, good quality stuff. Uh, a lot of the similar features, got a climbing bar, plenty of traction, aluminum frame, lightweight design, uh, fully rotational toe cord. So that means that the shoe is free to go as far as it needs to. Um, snow sheds off the back. The tail kind of drags on the snow when you when you are walking. You never carry the weight of the snow. Um, but the big story with Louis Garneau is the use of the BOA system. You'll, you might have seen this on cycling shoes, um, basketball sneakers. It's a, it's a really amazing uh, device where it with a turn of this knob, um, it cinches these little small uh, lines around the binding tight. So you get a very, very custom, easy, easy, easy fit with the BOA system. Um, it's the first time this has appeared on a snowshoe binding and it's super, super cool. Uh, really, really neat. You pull up on it to release the tension, comes out that easily. And then pop it back down and you can crank that up. Otherwise, just a basic heel strap there. But that's a really cool feature, really nice snowshoe right there. It's called the Blizzard from Louis Garneau. All right, finally we'll look at Tubbs. We've got the Tubbs Journey here and the Tubbs Wilderness. Um, you know, very sort of similar usage, but the Wilderness is going to have a little more uh, traction with a more aggressive toe cramp on. The binding itself has more support. You can definitely tell the difference if you were to squeeze. This is more of a rigid material. There's a little more padding here in the wilderness. Um, but they, they both have this nice 180 binding where you step down, you pop that little guy in, and you can tighten the tension with a strap. They both have this feature. So really, really quick in and out. That's a very popular binding um, even for folks who are in again the more recreational category because it's so easy to use you know when you're done snowshoeing for the day you push that button you step out and you're done um, Tubbs uses rotating toe cords um, there is a stop built in there it is so it'll rotate that far and then stop um, otherwise just solid a brand you know and can trust Tubbs 
right there. So once again, the Journey Wilderness. Uh, these are both the men's versions. There are women's as well. And then finally, we'll look at the Tubbs Flex NRG. The Flex is a molded snowshoe. So now uh, Tubbs has gotten into the molded uh, market. Uh, rather than your aluminum and decking material design, this is a molded plastic design. Tons of Flex built into this, including in the tail. This is a really great shoe for packed snow or icy hard packed snow because it's, it's very, very comfortable to walk in. Um, when you take a step, the binding flexes and kind of rolls into each step, unlike a more rigid design. So it, it really does actually reduce bone or joint fatigue over a long day of hard packed snowshoeing. Um, so this is more of uh, a shoe for stability, tons of traction and comfort on more packed snow. Now they're only available in one size. This particular size, it's about a 24 inch, would be perfectly suited as a deep snow snowshoe for certain people in a certain weight range. But if you're a more heavier person, this is not going to provide you enough flotation uh, in deep snow. However, you don't need to worry about flotation when you're on packed snow. So this is going to work for just about anybody. Um, the binding is very similar to the 180 design. It's the 180 uh, Pro binding. Open it up, step in, close that, tighten if needed. You got your heel strap there. And the one other feature of the NRG, just to make it even more comfortable, is this heel pad is rubberized. It's, it's like stepping on a, a mattress, heavy step. It's really, really comfortable. Uh, and you get all that articulation. So more of a uh, packed snow type shoe here. And these are more traditional. Um, there's, again, lots and lots of stuff to think about when you're looking at snowshoes, but hopefully this overview gave you <laughs> uh, a little bit of help. I, I try. So anyway, hopefully uh, you'll get out there and enjoy snowshoeing. It's a great activity. Anyone can do it. You're an expert once you take your first step. Thanks a lot for watching, folks. My name is Ryan from ORS Snowshoes Direct.